There are increasing concerns tonight over the number of young children in Savannah Chatham schools who are now vaping and using e-cigarettes. Our Jackson Kurtz has more on the school board's plans to keep school campuses vaping free. Right now, vaping and e-cigarette use is prohibited for students in Savannah Chatham County Schools, but the district is also looking to ban those products for its employees. When it comes to vaping and e-cigarettes, the Centers for Disease Control says it's an escalating health threat. We've been struggling with the vaping issue in our schools um, for a few years, um, but re recently, of course, we've seen national attention on the real health risks. But some agencies are doing more to help decrease the health risk in our area, like Savannah Chatham Chatham County public school system. And we know it continues to be a problem in our schools. I think we're learning more and more that just the overall practice um, is, is dangerous. The school board says it's looking to add vaping products to its employee tobacco use policy. This would ban all district employees from using vaping products on campus at district events or when they're representing Savannah Chatham schools. We're messaging to our students that we don't want anyone engaging in unhealthy conduct. For students, the school district says nurses have reported just under 10% of students who use vaping products on campus. Students aren't allowed to have these on campus, and usually where we see them are in the parking lots or off campus at activities. District health officials say students who use them range from middle schoolers to high schoolers, who all appeal to the many colorful tobacco names, attractive odors, and products that are easy to hide, like a jewel. But regardless of who's vaping, health officials say some of these products are not safe. Heated and um, turned into an aerosol can go really, really deep into the lung and irritate um, those sacs in the lung and cause permanent scarring. And when that happens, then you know you have shortness of breath, and then you have a cough, or then you have chest pain. And, and those things are not, you know, they're not reversible. District health officials say another concern for vaping is what exactly is in these products and the long-term effects they could cause. In Savannah, Jackson Kurtz, WJCL 22 News. The Georgia Department of Health says young users of vaping or e-cigarettes can now access the new e-cigarette quit program by texting Ditch Jewel to 88709. 